What do you reckon? That's cool, right? Where can I put you so you can see me fail at life? Oh, do you know what? This might actually work. This might actually work. So just arrived, it is a Friday. We have four boot sales here over the next few days. It's the Easter bank holiday weekend. My videos are a little bit behind, but I am getting up to date with them all. So these, this might be a couple of weeks behind, um, you know, Easter, which I'm sorry about, but they will be up to date very soon. I am working on it. I've got a few in the works and then we will be up to date. But let's get in there, see what we can find to resell for a profit on eBay. Yeah, I've got a bit of a queue today. Last time I was here, there was barely a queue. I wasn't early or anything. Slightly earlier than I am now. And we are off. Where should we start? Right at the back. It's like the Harvest Festival here. I've actually got a mate of mine who's selling some cakes here today and he doesn't know I do video, so that'll be interesting. Hi there, how much are your glasses? Let's have a look. Uh, I'll do three quid on them. Can you do just three? A pound, just a pound on that one. Can you do three for the two? Three for the two. Please. Go on. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do that. How much are your mugs? Oops, um, one. That one, that'll be two pounds. That one's Starbucks one. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Okay, thank you. Okay, lovely, thank you. All for £10. All for £10. I'll take your books, please. I'll just see if you've got anything else, though. Ones. Yeah, I love those. I had all them when I was a kid. I know. Bring back memories, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> How much are your Minecraft bits as well? So the big ones are two and the little ones are a pound because they are expensive. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> My kids are very much into them. How much for just like the lot at all? all uh, just, uh, just, yeah, just the Minecraft, like I've everything got more that side. Right. 15 for the lot? Uh, All of it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Cool. Oh, Thank you. Little white bags? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm tacking you the sword then, so like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that for a pound, please. Now, I bet there's a bit of money in all those floppy disks, but I don't want the task of doing it, to be honest. You could just bundle the whole lot up and sell it cheap, but... Nah, too bulky, not interested right now. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Tarpaulian. Tarpaulian. Don't make you anything about it. Yeah. Yeah, yes, please. A bit, uh, see the white balls, a bit stuck in the garage, really. I'll be going in my bathroom, anyway, I'll get this to that way. Thank you. Yeah, mate, would you do as a price for these if uh, for a lot of them? Yeah, how many is there? I'd have no idea. <laughs> um, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Do you like four quid? I've, just, I've just been selling for 50p each. Yeah. Time crisis 2 on. Let's see how much he wants. You're on, mate. You're right there. How much are you signs? Maybe it's one you're after, mate. I like them all, but. I'll have to them. There's some here, too. Probably the. That one. 25, the Tom. Oh, yeah. Time crisis. Where is it? Well, what I need to do is I, I put it in the box. Well, I need the lights and illuminate them. Yeah. Yeah. Same with these here. Just, it's finally time, do it all, man. Have you been there? Yeah. Go ahead, you know, I've never been um, there. How often, do you, how often do you come across them? Yeah, that's it, not very often. No, that's it. Is it, um, is it like an arcade that's closed down or something, that kind of thing? Please visit arcade. Do you guys reckon 25 is too much, really, isn't it? Let's see if we can get it to like 15. Come oh, on, mate. Uh, would you consider 15 on it? So, uh, for this one. I'll split it at 20 if you want. Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Is there any chance I could leave it with you? Because yeah, I'm going to no struggle otherwise. You've got struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'll come get it in like half yeah. an hour. Oh. That's quite a cool one there. That, that, um, that one, yeah. Yeah, it is. I like that one, Tatrum. Oh. Yeah. How much are you selling for? Same price as one. Uh, 25. Too slow, I know. I'm fine. Which one, love? Okay. How much are your little houses? Uh, you can have them for four quid for the two. <coughs> Right, how much on your tripod? How much though? Three. Um, you two? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.
Back him on the side or something. Exactly what I've done. Ribbon wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she told me in the end. Morning, mate. Sorry, uh, how much did you use? Penny ball. That one's ten, the other one's five. <laughs> okay. You know what, I'm going to have to come back to this green one. Yeah, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> You're right, how much your cars? I want a fiver each, but what for them, uh, please? Right. There's six of them. Yeah. I'll leave them, but thank you. Yeah, no, you're all right. Oh, the tank, the Enfield tank. Yeah. Don't suppose you happen to sell just the backs of the pins, you know, like the little uh, buttony bits. The buttony ones. Why am you want? You want one? I want like. I don't know, 50 or something. I've got them on eBay, mate. Yeah, you get them cheap. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Juicy control. It's a hundred yards. Let's see how much he wants for it. Morning. Hello. You all right? How much on your bread, Ben? Four. That was one which wasn't very, very good. I, I might have paid a pound, maybe two. Definitely not four. Yeah, not all that much today. I didn't buy a single item down the other end of the field, where it's mostly traders, but still, not a single item. Let's keep going. How much you bowl, please? Yeah, I'll take it. Then I ask how much for all of your floppy disks. I don't know why I'd want them, but they look kind of cool just sat there like that. <coughs> yeah. See, I don't even. I don't even know what. What would you do with them? What would you do? I don't know. <laughs>
Can you do two, Fred? Yeah. For them? Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Do you remember that TV show at all? Spit Space Precinct? Do you know what I don't? No. <laughs> it's so... I thought it was like... I remember it as a kid and I thought it was like a long running thing, but it did one series and it just it went as fast as it came. She didn't care. Never seen one that big before. Oh, God, yeah. It's massive. They'll need them, will sleep at 12. Hi, bye! Your stuff's getting on the start. All that Minecraft clothing then. I would have taken it all if it was in the right size for my kids. Some good stuff in there. You could probably buy it all and resell it, you know, but not for me. FIFA Street, is there one in there? I can't remember. No. The 50p then. Right, thank you. Classic. <laughs> Uncle Bert. Friday. Just those two, please. Oh, you're right. How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I've got these. I don't know if. I had a look at one on eBay, it was brand new, it was about 40 quid. I think it's because it's the 10 films thing, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've not Probably seen one about before. a tenner or something like that. But there was only, yeah. I think they only had a couple of them left, but it might be worth, because they might have more, because it's looked like they've got bought in bulk, you know, like brand new and stuff. Yeah, you'll, you'll remember this, possibly. I keep asking people, nobody ever remembers it. Space Precinct? No. <laughs> yeah, vaguely, yeah. Nobody remembers it. Bonus boot sale, yeah. Didn't know any of this was here. Just the Simpsons one, please. Thank you. Cheers. I might come and have another look when I've not got this in my way. Let's <laughs> do my head in. You get rid of it. So back to the car. I'm going to go and have another look, especially over here, like the overspill. I've not had a proper look down there yet, so we might find something down there. So it's more likely to be kind of regular people down there so anyway what we've got here we've got a bit of stuff i've paid up a little bit for a few things but i think we've still done okay and a couple of cool things check this out nobody seems to remember this space precincts i remember when i got the board game last year i was like in one of my videos like oh anybody remember this and <laughs> it was just like the tumbleweed started rolling past nobody had heard of it Anybody out there heard of Space Precinct? Anybody used to watch it? Anyone? Anyone at all? I I enjoyed it anyway. I got a couple of them for, I think I paid like 50p each for them. I don't know whether to sell or what. They're old, I think, 95. Somebody will want them, right? Somebody? <laughs> and there's a load of bits. I got these because I recently picked one up from a charity shop for a few quid and it sold pretty quickly for a fairly decent amount this one has a couple of issues like a little chip here well the one i had that sold recently had a little chip as well i got two for like 350 i think it was but the best thing has got to be this check it out Let's see if i can like wedge it there there we go what do you reckon that's cool right I think he is. He's obviously like cleared out an old arcade. I think there's one recently shut down on Blackpool Prom. I feel like it has. And this has obviously come out of out of that. 
and he had a load of stuff. Some of it I recognised, I don't know whether from like being a kid or what, but this is the only one that really interested me enough to buy, you know, spend 20 quid on it is what I bought it for. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or keep it. As for posting it out, it would probably be all right. I know it's long and thin, but yeah, that's the best thing. I would have come today just for that, to be honest. If I knew this was going to be here, I would have come just for this. I will probably keep it at least for a little bit, at least for a little bit, but inevitably in the end, I will more than likely sell it. Anyway, I'm going to head back in for one last look around. People are kind of getting stuck and stuff here. Kind of a bit like pandemonium. There's an ambulance before over there. I hope everybody is okay. I didn't see anything happening, but there was an ambulance trying to get in. Right, where can I stick this? It's not going to fit in my boot, is it? Nah. I'm going to have to go in the back seat. Or through here. It's going to be alright. Yeah. Right, let's have one more final look round. And then head home. And have a look at everything we bought today. Yeah, brilliant, thank you. Never heard of this before, this is Tiger Games? Yahoo brand? I do not know. Three quid, no, two quid. This is pretty rough though, there's like chips in it. Mm. How much on that, please? I want five pounds for them. I've had them for years. Yeah. He doesn't like them, but I do. No. It's just that we're moving house and we've got more than half a million. Lots of five. Are you a musical fan? Yeah. Makes a fella revolve the And I'm like, no, I can't. I've had this guy before. Come back again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm working it too. Probably that old Bullet's tail, but it's all. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take him for it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rowing machine. I'm going to have to machine. The problem is I've got nowhere to put it. Roger back though, that's quite a good one I think. When you, when you plug it in, it has different resistances. Yeah. So now it's it, it's it's relatively you, you might think so that's easy. Yeah. So when it when it goes in the different resistances you can set you can set your different programs and it goes really really hard. Right. So all the straps are to strap your feet in as well because you need to strap your feet in. Yeah. I just I just don't think I've got room for it unfortunately. I wish I wish I did. But how much how much anyway just so I can. That mate. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to, where would I put it? <laughs> Cheers, Mo. Thank you. Cheap, that. Isn't it? I know, it, it is. It really is cheap. Isn't it, it is. I know, I've got a damn set more for that. Does it go any smaller than that just to get it in the car? No. going to put it <laughs> for 10 quid I feel like I have to I'm gonna have to buy it aren't I? What car have you got? Uh, Mazda 3, it'll go in, it'll go, I have to take the kids seats out though which is the annoying thing <laughs> but I'll take it please, I'll take it, cheers mate, thank you. How heavy is it? Um, oh, that's alright, it's not too bad. So that's it. So I have to try and get this in here. What do you think? I'm going to try my best to do it without putting the seats down. What do you reckon? No chance, right? <laughs> I'm going to try though. Where can I put you so you can see me fail at life? There you go. There's a there's an angle for you. Except I can't see 
I can't see what you can see there. Here's me failing at life. Don't forget I've also got Time Crisis 2 to fit in as well, somehow. Figured that might be a little bit better. What do we reckon? Is this going to go? I mean, hopefully it works, right? Because <laughs> if it doesn't work, can you imagine trying to get, get rid of this? I suppose you just take it to the tip. Oh, do you know what? This might actually work. This might actually work. Jesus. Oh. Is it, is it going to do it? Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Oh. Right, if we turn it, if we turn it round like this. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, it's... This bit up, it folds down a bit. Come on, man. Come on. How far off are we? It fits. It fits. Kind of. Does that count as fitting? And I've not had to move the car seats out, put the seats down, anything. It's just kind of very precariously balanced, but that will do. That will do me. I was driving very carefully because one false move, one speed bump or pothole, and this window is gone. I can do you know, I put I'm gonna put a couple of blankets over it. I don't know how much difference that's gonna make with the weight of it, but at least if it's bouncing around, it might be might do a bit better. I'm also now wondering if I'm going to get out okay, because somebody who is parked like just over there had to get rescued via tractor, so fingers crossed. The ground does look very wet, especially here. Nope. It's gonna curl a bit. Yes, that should do it. Just, just. We are winning at life today. We are winning. Oh, also, also. Shout out to some friends of mine who sell the best cakes ever. These cakes and biscuits are so good. I don't know whether they want me to like mention it or not. But look at that. That's like a kinder cookie dough pie. I mean, look at that. They've been giving us free samples for a while. And it's about time we actually bought some. But their stuff is, is really good. We're going to the zoo today. My nephews are up. So I've got them all a Easter sugar cookie. So they'll enjoy them. That's for Claire. That's for me. And I, I might share that with somebody or devour it now. So there we go. A boot full, but not quite as I imagined it, to be honest. So let's head home and take a look at this stuff and see what Claire thinks about me buying a massive row machine. 10 quid though, 10 quid. Yeah, look at it all. Fingers crossed, we get back in one piece. I made it back with my back window still intact. Everything's still intact, I think. Let's see what Claire thinks of it then, shall we? Is <laughs> she gonna kill me? She might do. We really don't have room for it, but I don't know. As wheels, right? As wheels, so I can wheel it places, store it somewhere. Using the wheels. Oh my god. What is it? What do you think? What do you mean? What do I think? What do you know what it is? Is it a rowing machine? Yeah. Where are you gonna put it? Don't know. Is this all you bought? 
Um, there's a sign. There's a cool time crisis two sign. Oh, did you get me? Yes. How many? Yeah. Did you get any Easter sugar cookies? Yeah. What do you think? Where are we going to put it? Outside. So it's a few hours later now. We've been to the zoo today, just got back, and I thought I would have a look through this stuff. And we've got a bit of a mixed bag here, if I'm honest. There's some really good stuff and some not so great stuff, which I probably shouldn't have bothered with. But let's have a look at it all. You know, the standout item has to still be this sign Time Crisis 2. It's from an arcade, Namco. I thought everybody knew this uh, game, but apparently not. Apparently, a lot of people don't know even know what this is anymore. I must be getting old. Uh, but yeah, from by Namco, Time Crisis Two. It was an arcade shooter game, and you know, back in like the nineties, everybody knew what it was. And uh, yeah, there you go, ninety five, ninety seven, around that time. I think Time Crisis Two was probably like the pinnacle. That's a, is about as good as it got for for the kind of arcade shooters in my opinion anyway although i did like the house of the dead games as well but yeah 20 quid i don't know about this it would obviously be a pain to ship it if i was going to sell it on ebay but i do think it would do a lot better on ebay than just sticking it on like facebook marketplace there's probably a lot of people who've like done replicas of this kind of thing but this is as far as i am aware anyway it's from an actual arcade machine all the other stuff he had was from an arcade so yeah, I'm um, led to believe it is from an actual arcade, from an actual you know vintage machine. And then we'll start over here with all this stuff. We'll have a look at the row machine as well in a minute. It works. But right now, this here I thought was very unusual, kind of cool, I think. Although, it's, it, I've never heard of this. Has anybody heard of this? Yahoo Hit Clips from the year 2000. Record sounds and music off the web, then play back over and over again. It sounds like some kind of copyright hell going on there. This particular one, it is brand new sealed. I only paid a pound for it. Three, the, There are three of them in America for about £28 plus postage. And there's one person who has two up at £25 plus postage but they've got like really poor quality photographs i'd probably i'll probably aim for about 20 to 25 free postage i don't know if anybody it would want this though really but anything that's like brand new sealed from you know more than 20 years ago like this is always worth a go and we've got some glasses here i've not looked that one up i don't imagine it'll be worth all that much england in france 1998 this here is worth about 10 to 12 pound it's a couple of brand new Call of Duty glasses, I just thought they looked really cool. Are these here are worth looking out for? I've had one of these recently that sold for quite good money. And it's this brand, Delftware, from like Amsterdam, Holland. And this is very similar to the one I sold, actually, this one. There was a little bit of damage to it, but it's not nothing too bad. £3.50 for the two. Here we have a big bowl full of Sylvalian families. Yes, they're all a bit grubby. None of them have clothes, or I think a couple of them might do. And I think I paid five quid for the lot. I'm not sure if that was worth it. it. It probably is. Once you once I've like laid them all out, there's probably going to be quite a few here. I'm sure somebody will be able to do something with them, but they're not going to be a great money maker. I'll make a profit. Probably won't be all that much. And right here we've got a classic Kellogg's Fruit and Fiber cereal bowl. I sold this one fair few times these always sell really quickly or they do at the moment anyway and then check these out i think these are really cool again nobody knows this space precinct does anybody remember it please somebody say that they do <laughs> did you enjoy it i liked it as a kid i thought it was really cool 1995 it's from and then we got some goosebump books here three pounds i paid their asking price on these some of these can can be good there's eight books here and I tend to just bundle them up. What I think what I will do, because I keep seeing like the odd book, but it's just like one or two books here and there, and I kind of think there's no point in you know, buying just one or two books. I'm going to start doing like what everyone used to do back in the day with all the Harry Potter books. I'm going to start picking these up when I see them singularly. I'm going to build up a bit of a collection and then sell them off. And here we've got a Belora little tripod. 
I only got this because of the tripod I got recently from my first boot sale of the year that I got kind of thrown in with a video camera, didn't think much of it, but it was a vintage one that, and it was, you know, it was better quality than this, but this is still good quality and it's got its little case and it was only two quid. I think he wanted three, I said two, and I think that'll still do okay. I've looked at the model number that is written on here somewhere and I, it's nothing's coming up, so I don't really know uh, how much it's worth, but other similar kind of tripods, 25 thereabouts. Here's a Power Rangers sword. Again, another thing that, I don't know, I mean, I only paid a quid for it, but probably shouldn't have bothered. I just thought it looked kind of cool. It's a little bit damaged right there, as you can see. And it kind of does this. You kind of press this button and it does that. I, I think you're supposed to like kind of time it right and like, which I can, I just can't seem to do. Only a quid, oh no, tenner if I'm lucky, probably on that. But again, the profit will be made, just not quite as much as I thought. And this same goes for this as well, this, you know, Starbucks mug. I must admit the quality of this is not as good as the, as some of the ones I've had before. To the point where I was looking at it thinking, is that like a, is it even like real? But it is, I've looked into it, there's a lot out there. But it only goes, this, this particular one, you know, England, Nice big mug as well, like extra large like mug. City mug collector series from 2002, so it's vintage as well. But it only, it's only worth about eight to ten quid. This one, surprise, surprises me. I mean, I think I only paid two for it, but you'd think it'd be worth more than that, right? I don't think I've ever had a Starbucks mug that's worth that little, and is you know so big as well. But there you go. That's just the way it goes, I suppose. Sometimes. And then here we have a Simpsons magazine. This one's not worth much, about seven or eight quid. I just thought it looked pretty cool. They only wanted a pound. Figured I would just get it. I'll probably have a good look through that myself before I sell it on. I love the Treehouse of Horror uh, Simpsons stuff that they did. And these two here were only 50p each. I thought that this one was worth money. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one, like the sequel, or is it on a different console or something? I'm not sure. But this is not one that I see very often, this, the first one on the PlayStation 2. So I, I thought I'd give it a go, but it's only worth about three quid, three or four quid, this one. This one's worth a little bit more, about seven, maybe eight at a push. They're both complete with the manuals and in very good condition. And this guy here, I can't remember what he's called off the top of my head, but I've had him a couple of times before, always missing these pieces, yet they still sell. This one at least has two of the four pieces that it should have. You kind of pull the tail and it kind of spins the head bit. If I can do it, I can like that, spin it around. You put these on there, it makes a sound as well. The battery will need replacing. And it's like a drill. I don't really know what you're supposed to drill with it. I do not know. It's from 2015, uh, Dino Trucks, it's from Dino Trucks. Yeah, I have heard of that. I think my kids watched it for a, a short period of time. And then all this Minecraft stuff, again, I probably should not have bothered. I paid 15 quid for it, which I, I'm saying it out loud now, and I'm like, did I really pay 15 quid for all this Minecraft stuff? I think the thing is, I buy these for my kids, so I know that they're worth about, what are they usually? About six or seven pounds, I think thereabouts. They vary depending on where you buy them from. I think you can get them as like as cheap as five. And we've got Lego ones as well. I've got all these ones here, which I'm not really sure what these are kind of from, or even if they're like legit. They might be from some kind of like a uh, surprise type of thing, like a surprise egg or that kind of thing. I don't know, I'll have to have a look into them. Uh, yeah, proper Lego ones, these, apart from the head of that one, which doesn't seem to be genuine, but everything else is. So I'll probably like let my kids pick a couple of things out and sell the rest. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make much profit. I might double the money. So that's it. That is everything. I'll put on the screen now roughly how much money I think we're going to be making. It is going to be a rough estimate. It doesn't include the row machine either. It does include this sign because I think I will sell it. I will keep hold of it. Probably for a little bit before I do. I've got three days left of boot sales. So hopefully this is just the start. Obviously it's a... Bank Holiday Friday, it's not going to be as good as your average Sunday boot sale. It's just not. So we will see what we find 
tomorrow, Sunday, and the fourth day on the bank holiday Monday. The bank holiday Mondays can be a bit iffy, not very good most of the time, but you just never know. In fact, I got the sign and the row machine saves the day, really, I think. If it wasn't for those two things, I'd be a little bit kind of, maybe a little bit disheartened looking at what I've got. But with the sign and the row machine, I've been looking for a row machine for ages. I think, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good day. So that's it for now. If you remember what Town Crisis 2 is, hit the like button. Till next time, see you in the next one. Outside.